before his death in the Ultron Revolution, Thor Odinson had an encounter with the being known as Beta Ray Bill. When Surtur began his conquest to destroy Asgard, a race of beings called the Corbinites left their planet in a massive fleet. Before the journey, however, their scientists created a guardian who could travel with the fleet and protect them during their journey. The first guardian was riddled with problems. His body was put into stasis in a meta-orb, while the Corbinite Bill was selected after various tests and challenges, and he was later turned into a cyborg. When the Corbinite fleet neared Asgard, Odin sent Thor to investigate. When Thor arrived in the vicinity of the fleet, Bill's sentient ship, Scuttlebutt, detected him as a threat and opened fire. Thor boarded Scuttlebutt, where he encountered Bill and they fought. During the battle, Thor lost his grip of his, of his hammer, Milnir, for more than 60 seconds and was transformed back into Donald Blake. Curious, Bill picked up Blake's wooden cane and struck it against the nearby wall, instantly giving him the powers of Thor and a costume similar to his own design. Sensing this, Odin transported both Thor and Bill to Asgard, where Bill demanded he be allowed to keep the hammer because he had beaten Thor. However, Odin said that the contest was not fair because Thor had an artificial limitation, so he temporarily restored both of their powers and arranged them to fight to the death in the realm of Skarthheim, a lava-filled wasteland. After a long and grueling battle, both combatants succumbed to exhaustion and collapsed. However, Bill's race was naturally enhanced with, by warm climates, and he awoke before Thor, but refused to take his life, thus passing Odin's final test. Odin then created a new hammer, Stormbreaker, imbuing it with all the powers of Mjolnir, but none of the limitations. Thor and Bill became friends, and they, along with Lady Sif, returned to save Bill's people from the armies of Surtur. Years after Thor's death in the Ultron Revolution, Bill and his race live in Asgard as he protects his people and the people of Asgard from threats all over the cosmos. He and Sif developed a relationship with one another over the time they spent together on and off the battlefield. All was peaceful in Asgard, until Surtur returned to bring about Ragnarok, the fall of Asgard. Sif and Bill were called back by Odin and they were placed in charge of leading the Asgardian army as Odin fought Surtur head on. During the battle, Odin hurled Surtur and himself into a fissure in the ground, seemingly killing them both. Sif asked Bill to stay in Asgard and help relieve the Asgardians during their recovery from the war with Surtur. However, Bill refused as he felt like he failed Odin and sensed that Surtur was not gone. Some time later, Sif and Scourge learn that Surtur is still alive and that he is slowly reforming his body with the power of his sword, Twilight. The trio travel to Surtur's realm at Muspelheim, and they battle Surtur as he also has Odin captured. With the help of his allies, Surtur was thrown into the ground, giving Bill the chance to take ownership of Twilight and behead the Fire Demon. After Surtur's death, with the help of Asgard, Bill and his race begin to scour the universe for a new planet to them, for them to call home. Sif and Bill would continue their relationship, as Odin would task Bill to travel to Earth as he feels a sense of Asgardian magic within the planet that could be very dangerous to all the realms. Odin reveals that the item is the Casket of Ancient Winters. Bill agrees, and he begins to travel to Earth as he continues to, to not only be the protector of the Corbinites, but to also continue the legacy of Thor. <laughs>